Hi all, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 2 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to handle column line breaks using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see what our requirement is. So as I stated, we want to remove the line breaks in column name using Mapping Data Flow. So uh, in our use case, this is how our source file looks like. It is having column names but inside the column name uh, there are some line breaks which means part of the column names are separated by new line okay so we want to convert it in this format okay we don't want any line breaks and we want to replace it with space okay so how to achieve this using data flow so let me go to the azure portal and show you the source file so i have already uploaded the file here in my storage account inside demo container okay let me download it for you so that i can show you how the source file looks like so here it, you can see the how the column names are appearing okay we will treat this as the source data set in our data flow okay so let me create a data flow i have already turned this data flow debug option uh, which will be helpful in previewing the data while we will be designing our data flow okay so now let me add source transformation once i clicked on uh, the add source option it all it uh, automatically created the source transformation for us okay now uh, we have to create a data set pointing to this particular file okay our excel file so let me cl click on this new option and let me select adls gen 2 okay where my file is lying and here we need to select excel format one thing to be noted is excel uh, format can only be treated as source not as uh, sync okay uh, when you try to create a data set in a sync transformation you will not be able to see excel as uh, the option okay so it is only readable but not writable format so let me click here so let me select the link service which is already created for my storage account and let me select the file path okay so we need to select the sheet so you can see in my excel uh, the data is present only in sheet 1 so i'll be uh, selecting sheet 1 from the drop down and uh, uh, there is no need to select this first row as a header why because if we treat this particular row as header or column then we will not be able to manipulate the data or transform the data so we will not consider this column name as header we will treat this as uh, the part of data itself okay so we will not check this box um, but we will import the schema from the source so let me click ok so our data set is ready uh, let me go to data preview option and show you the data so now you can see um, the default column names have been assigned to each of the columns and our column name from the excel is coming as one of the rows okay now we can perform the data transformation on top of this here in data preview option the column names are coming in a single line but if i hover on it you can see the actual format how it is in the source it is having the line breaks okay so that's what we need to change uh, for that let me add derived, tran uh, derived column transformation so now we want to make changes in the existing columns we will select it from the drop down so let me select column 1 first here in column 1 you can see uh, this is what the data is so uh, what I want is we want to replace the uh, new line uh, symbol and we will give replace function here we need to give on which string you want to perform the replace so let me select column 1 for now and with substring to find so what what we need to replace is uh, there is a symbol called backslash n which is uh, which depicts the new line character so i'll replace it with just one space okay so let me show you how the data looks like right now if I hover on this, you can see the column name for uh, the first column is coming in a single line. But for other columns, it is still multi-lines. Okay. 
so same thing we can do for other columns as well let me select column 2 and let me copy this expression and just replace 1 with 2 and similarly for other two columns as well column 3 let me replace 1 with 3 and similarly for column 4 ok so yeah uh, we are done with expression writing now if I preview the data uh, so it's coming correctly for all the column names ok now let me add sync transformation and I will create a new data set which will be again ADLS Gen 2 kind of data and here you can see there is no option to uh, create a sync data set for excel format so I will select CSV and here uh, let me select demo folder again and I will give the file name as uh, say output of line break okay. dot CSV uh, we don't want to import schema for the sync let me choose none and let me hit ok let me create a new pipeline and call this particular data flow and let me debug it ok so the execution has started let's wait for the completion so the pipeline is successful let's go to the ADLS again and let me refresh and see if the output file is coming or not so you can see there are two new files coming but uh, the file name that we gave that is output line break dot uh, csv is not uh, coming here right so why it did not come we will check it later first let me check uh, the output file here and show you the data so this is how the data is looking like let me download the file and check if uh, we are getting the uh, column names in proper format or not without any line breaks so let's wait so now you can see in our output csv file the data is coming perfectly okay um, but uh, there are a couple of things that we need to change here so the first thing let me delete the output files here this is just a dummy file that su underscore success one is a dummy file uh, uh, let me go to the data flow again and here what we need to change is in the settings sync settings you need to select the file name option as output to single file ok uh, once we select that we need to give the uh, file name here ok so here I will give output line break line break dot csv ok and uh, here we need to set single partition so that all the data will come in a single file ok uh, the, the changes that we did is reflecting in here uh, optimize tab where it uh, selected the single part partition option ok now if I run the pipeline again uh, it should uh, give us the output file with the desired file name ok let's wait for the completion ok so the pipeline is successful now let's uh, refresh here you can see the file name is coming uh, whatever name we we had provided okay and the data is also looking uh, good now this was one way of achieving the things uh, now suppose if in future there is an additional column uh, that is getting ad added in the source file then I don't want to make any changes in the data flow so for that what I can do is I can replace the whole uh, set of codes which is a repeat which is having repeated codes as well let me delete all of these okay and what we can do is we can create a column pattern here okay and we will say let me delete this one and what we will say is wherever this condition will be matching it will uh, it will use this expression and do the transformation okay so here we will give true as the conditions so that it holds good for all the columns and here let me give this symbol okay dollar dollar symbol so when we give dollar dollar it means the action will be performed or whatever transformation we are doing or whatever expression we will write here it will be uh, performed on all the columns okay so here we need to give the value expression 
so here uh, we will use the replace function and instead of giving the column names one by one we will give dollar value here and the substring that we need to replace is uh, this backslash n and that we will be replacing with just a space okay now let me preview the data again and now we can see it is coming as expected okay uh, the sync is same let me run the pipeline now so let's wait for the completion so the pipeline execution is successful now let's go back and hit refresh so now you can see the modified time has been changed and let me open the uh, output file content it is uh, coming as expected okay so let me download and show you if the data is coming in single row or not let it get open okay so you can see it is coming in a single line okay all the column names are coming in single line so we are good uh, let me go back to presentation so here we have achieved the requirement by two options one is by giving each column names and uh, using this expression for each of the columns or else we have used the column pattern so that's it guys for this video uh, i hope you like the video and uh, please stay tuned and hit like uh, for this video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet